We brought together seven queer people. I am a queer person. I'm 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 a queer person. One is a liar. Who is the odd one out? Scale to one to ten, how gay are we? <laughs> eight. I'd also say eight. I'm a nine. Yeah, I would say a nine or ten. <laughs> a seven. <laughs> So what's me, what makes you a seven? Because I like both. Like I, I'm in like a poly couple right now with a guy and a girl. So. Okay, period. Okay, what do you like better? Um, I think I'm. This is one of my like first relationships the last two years, so I'm like kind of more open it. They're like an older couple, so I'm getting. You're not answering more what you like better. I like I like girls a little more. That's why I, I was at seven. Okay. Uh, when Travis was asking questions, he was kind of snappy with me and like calling out that I didn't get to his point straight away. They were very nervous when they were speaking. I just feel like they were skirting around every single question that was being asked. Wait, 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 but what's your sexuality? If you don't, sorry, I'll cut, I cut you <laughs> off, I'm so sorry. I'm bisexual, I'm poly and bisexual. Okay, fair. So when did like everyone kind of discover their like sexuality, I guess. I was raised as a Mormon. I had like a secret relationship with one of my roommates in college. After that, I just couldn't deny it anymore. And I was like, okay, I'm gay. I was 18, I experimented with a girl for the first time and a lot of my previous life made sense. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. I came out the womb queer and I've been queer ever since. So are you a golden gay? I'm a golden gay. <laughs> Good for you. Travis was very to the point and like not saying a lot, which also made me a little suspicious as well. I came out 14, but I'm not a golden gay. So <laughs> there, I went through a straight period. That's what I call it. I identify as polysexual. Most genders, but not all. I hate cis men, so. <laughs> I'm a golden gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a golden gay, but I don't really identify as gay anymore, so. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And in college, I started like experimenting more and I grew up in Ohio, which is like very conservative and like like, my mom's like very like traditional Asian, so it kind of just stayed to me until I kind of moved out, and then I moved to California like a year and a half ago, and it's been more open, and everybody's been really awesome. Welcome to Cali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they are non-binary, that doesn't automatically make you queer. Travis is playing a very attack kind of gameplay. He's not really like giving us any details. We have a three-way tie. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> the tie is between Natia, Devins, and Travis. I was shocked, flabbergasted. I'm gonna give each of you 30 seconds on the clock to state your case, and then we'll do another round of voting. Natia, starting with you. Okay. Well, if you guys vote me off, that's like super homophobic. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I'm just high femme, so like if you're distracted by my clothing, you're just like, she doesn't look gay. It's because this is like gender affirming to me to present myself in like a super feminine way while being gay and not being like masculine and just like, yeah. So I guess I'll go over maybe nightlife or something. I guess I'll start like beaches and then go down to Roscoe's and then end at the Abbey because you gotta end at the Abbey. I met my, the couple I'm with right now at Mickey's. They were like married together and then found me. What else? Uh, hamburger marries anybody. Uh, Friday, <laughs> Friday night drag, so. That is no way to defend yourself. List every gay bar you know. Okay, makes no sense. That was a terrible defense. If you have 30 seconds, like talk about how much you love penis or something. Like don't don't say you love Hamburger Marys. I'm married to a man, so I don't know if that tells you anything. I've been queer since 12. I have a Winnie the Pooh tattoo and a Totoro tattoo. Come on, guys. That's <laughs> as queer as they come. <laughs> Just because you know the names of like a gay bar crawl doesn't mean anything. Sorry. <laughs> good game, good game. Good gameplay. I mean, it kind of sucks as eliminated. I don't think they let me talk enough and kind of explain myself. So do you guys all like identify as queer? Is that like, is queer, that like an okay gay, term? Like what do you guys? I go between queer and bi. I was really comfortable with uh, bi, but then my partner from high school actually came out to me recently as a trans woman and my current partner is a trans man. And so the label bisexual has kind of just like started to feel a little like pushing me into a box and I go between. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. It wasn't until I was like in my 30s that I discovered there was a whole other side of me that I um, could put a name to. 
like and identify and it, it's such a more full. It is. Um, yeah, I completely yeah. agree. As I started dating more male partners, uh, I, I started using the label gay just because it felt easier. Until very recently, it's so rigid and sexuality is so fluid. And while I have identified as gay for a long time, I have come to terms with the fact that I am also attracted to women. I'm attracted to trans oh, individuals. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 women are beautiful. They're gorgeous. Women are beautiful. Yeah. And I feel like with me, like identifying as a lesbian after being like so strict on non-labeling when I was in high school and stuff because of like that suppression I went through, I finally feel like I belong to a community, which yeah. is it's like yeah. so stupid yeah. to say, but in oh, retrospect, no. okay. No, it's yeah. Labels it's can be liberating or they can be like conforming. It's yeah. whatever is yeah. true for yeah. you as a person. He was very quiet. Like I knew from the beginning he was gay, but at the end of the round, Elizabeth was just like more forward about her queerness. No. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. We I appreciate get it. you. Good game, good game. I love your fit, by the way. Thank you. Sorry, I never said it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna happen. I didn't say much. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Wow. I think we got I it. I like, yeah, I don't know who I would. Yeah, okay. I feel, I feel good. Is the voting already done? Like we're concluding? Because I don't want to throw myself under the bus. No, voting's no, done. Can... Yeah. Okay, we're done now. So out. I'm like kind of sus of you, only oh. because like you have the stereotypical piercings. Okay. I'm just like, they would put a gay stereotype. That's fair. We're done too. It's because That's I believe fair. you're gay. Like Thank you. you're just like too gay. Okay. <laughs> I was sus of you because my gay dart just wasn't going off. Mm -hmm. That She's was like all there totally was to I feel it. Like, stereotype. Yeah, like I definitely get gay vibes Thank from you. you. But she like, could also sure. be a you. farmer's market girlie. Yeah, yeah just, you like, could be a girlie. No, you know what? Sure. This, was, this was an issue in my past You were just like, I thought you were a horse girl, so I was just like. Oh, no. <laughs> No, like, My <laughs> to affirm you fully, you look like horrible. every, like, stereotypical yeah. white gay that, that I've like, ever seen. Yeah. Okay. You called Elizabeth a horse girl. <laughs> I did. I mean... <laughs> I find that offensive. I'm gay. <gasps> Y'all, yeah. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I came onto set and I was the only one in Birkenstocks like with my dogs out barking and I was just like, well, I mean, at least I like have the lesbian shoes, but I didn't think that made me like a farmer's market horse girl. Yeah. Just to confirm, we feel confident. We feel confident. Good ending, I'm we nervous, good. We're good. Okay. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. If the lights turn green, that means the mole was voted out and you win. Now we're gonna have them all reveal themselves on the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Wait, are your pronouns actually they, them? Okay, you don't identify as queer. Yeah. So what were you sense. faking? Um, backstory. Well, I am from Ohio and I am in poly relationship, so just like the, the man. Just the man part? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, everything else is. Yeah. So is the poly couple that you're with a two straight girls. couple, or like two girls or a man and a woman? So I have three relationships that both my partners are bi. Are you an ally though? All right, all right. All right. <laughs> with those you know. nails. <laughs> if you're questioning yourself, allow yourself the space to explore and feel okay with not knowing for a little bit. I lost someone very close to me a year ago who was a young queer person and I just, want every young queer person to know that it gets better and there will come a point in your life where you are very confident in being part of this beautiful community. If you find the queer community, you have a, a place in it immediately. You're immediately accepted into it. Take some time to think it over, figure out if you're one of us, and if you are, congratulations because we're fantastic. It's reparations from the straight community. Hey, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Happy Pride!